Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about something that seems almost kind of like it's controversial within the vegan community, and I don't really understand why. And what I'm talking about is going to college. Now, as many of you may know, I'm a college senior right now, but I'll actually be graduating in a few weeks, and shortly after that, I will be going to graduate school in order to pursue my degree in physical therapy. I feel like the action of going to college has been more criticized in the media more recently. Like, is it really worth it to spend all that money on an education when you may end up doing something totally different? And that's true. I mean, there is a lot of debt involved with certain careers. I probably will be in debt after I go to graduate school, but in order for me to become a physical therapist, I still have to go to graduate school. I also feel like there are a lot of people out there who aren't exactly sure with what they want to do with their lives yet, so they're taking time to, you know, travel the world, learn more about themselves, and I want to say, I think there's nothing wrong with that. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, I definitely think you should take all the time you need because, yeah, you don't want to be wasting your money. College is expensive and graduate school is even more expensive and you don't want to have all this debt looming out of your head after you get out of college with a degree that you're not even sure you really like and you don't even really know what you want to do. However, there are a lot of people who do know what they want to do with their lives and who have to go to school in order to get that career. For example, I've been interested in physical therapy since I was a freshman in high school and I put in hours, I explored physical therapists in the field and the more I found out about the field, the more I fell in love with it and the more that I knew that that was what I wanted to do with my life. Yes, you do have to pay money in order to get an education, but after you graduate, eventually you should be able to make that money back and you're never going to get to the career spot you want if you don't put in the effort and you don't go to school. Now I'm not saying you have to go to college for certain jobs either. Like if you want to be a plumber or a beautician, there are plenty of other trade schools that you can go to that cost a lot less money and they're a lot more time efficient as well. That being said, I also feel like there are some people in the vegan community who think that all vegans should become YouTubers and dedicate their time to making videos and spreading the vegan message. For me, YouTube has sort of spurred out of my Instagram account and it is something that I really love, but I also really love physical therapy still and I still want to pursue both options. And yeah, if you really dedicate yourself to YouTube and grow a giant account, you will make tons of money. Social media is amazing and all the marketing potential that is out there, you could easily support yourself and someone else on that income. However, I also think it's important to note that not everyone can be YouTube famous. There are only a small amount of accounts that are actually making this income at the moment and they work really, really hard at it and they also have some natural potential as well. If we're all hypothetically speaking, if all vegans decided to create YouTube channels to spread the vegan message, there's no way that all of us would gain enough money in order to support ourselves and then what? We'd be starving on the streets? Probably not, but you get the point. There's nothing wrong with using YouTube or other forms of social media to support yourself, and you definitely don't need to go to college to do that. I think it's great that people are supporting themselves through these more creative ways of employment, but at the same time, if you want to become a doctor, or if you want to be a dentist, or if you want to be an engineer, Unfortunately, you have to go to school. It sucks sometimes and yeah, you don't want to study and yeah, you have to pay a lot of money for your education, but you're never going to get to where you want to be if you don't do it. Also, I think it's good that there are vegans spread out more throughout the workforce. Like you don't only want vegan YouTubers because even though there are a lot of people who watch YouTube, there are also a lot of people who don't watch YouTube. Like I personally think that we need more vegan doctors and we definitely need more vegan dietitians and even in computer science, like if you tell your coworkers that you're vegan, like that's still spreading the vegan message. There's still ways to share your compassion and advocate for the vegan lifestyle without committing your full life to explicitly doing so. You don't always have to lead by words, you can lead by actions too. And just by showing that you're a positive and compassionate person and how happy you are on this lifestyle, other people are going to be attracted to that and they'll start to wonder, hey, maybe I should incorporate more vegan foods into my diet or hey, maybe I should actually look into the research behind this lifestyle. So long story short, I think that if you wanna go to college, go to college, it's completely okay. If you wanna take a year off and travel, go ahead, do that. But just make sure that the choice you're making is the right choice for you, and also that it's going to be sustainable over your entire life. Maybe you feel really motivated now to make YouTube videos, but is that something you wanna do for the next 20 or 30 years of your life? How are you going to evolve with social media in order to continue to support yourself? It is a lifestyle that can be very fulfilling and have a lot of income, but at the same time, it's also very dependent on your audience and the current trends at the moment. 
But if you're willing to take that risk and if you're talented enough to do it, I say more power to you and that's awesome. However, if you want a more stable job, I also think that's completely okay as well. And it's okay to have a goal besides converting the whole world to be vegan and to pursue that goal. Just because you're vegan doesn't mean that you're only a vegan and that's the only aspect of your identity that you're allowed to develop. You're still allowed to go out there, have friends who aren't vegan, participate in sports, paint, like study something completely unrelated to veganism but yeah I just wanted to get my thoughts out there about that because I feel like there really haven't been that many videos made about this topic so let me know what you think in the comments below I'd love to have a discussion with you guys about it and I will see you all in my next video bye